guys, how's it going? Uh, just wanted to make a quick video real quick. I'll try to keep this as short as possible. Um, but wanted to go over this Forerunner here, right here that I've built out. Um, been building it for about a year and a half. I got it uh, beginning of 2022, January 2022. Um, when I bought it, it was very, very well maintained. I did a, like a very meticulous look through and kind of once over on everything. Um, when I bought it, I uh, immediately took it to the shop to have a uh, engine rebuild done because um, I wanted to make sure it was, you know, could run for another 15, 20 years and another 200,000 miles at least. So I had an engine uh, rebuild done. All the wiring was gone through. Um, transmission was gone through. Frame, all of that. Super, super solid truck. Um, very well maintained. I've got all the maintenance records, which was really important to me um, just so I can make sure, you know, that it's been as well maintained as I would have maintained if I had it. Um, it's been in Alabama, um, south of the United, south United States, uh, its whole life. So no rust, um, no soft spots, no rust, nothing like that. Like I said, it's been maintained by Toyota themselves, um, Toyota service department. So I knew I had been, you know, taken care of well. So that was kind of my goal. I took it over to Willingham Automotive. Like I said, had them do the uh, engine rebuild. Those are really good guys over there. They do a great job. Um, They've done a good bit of work for me. They built a lot of my stuff. So um very happy with how it's turned out. I've, it's not, I wouldn't call it done, you know, because it's never completely done. But I think it's at a point where I'm happy with it. Satisfied enough, I guess. Uh, so just want to go over it, show you guys. We'll start in the front, go all the way to the back, kind of go over um, all the things I've done to it, all the um, pieces that I've put on it, all the equipment, all that kind of stuff. Um, got something on my neck there. Um, I'm out here in the middle of Alabama heat, so it's humid and hot. So we'll try to make this as quick as quick as uh, as quick as possible. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm no YouTuber or anything like that. I just want to make a quick video, kind of go over what I've done to it, and um, mostly for memory, um, in case I ever sell it and kind of remember what I've you know what I built here. Um, like I said, very very solid truck. Very happy with it performs well if you know anything about toyota they are very very um high quality very well built um especially the 4.0 engines which this has a uh, 4.0 v6 um so very happy with it uh performs well tows well i've towed i've got a 24 foot um center console uh boat that weighs probably with the trailer probably at least 4,500 pounds towed towed it with this and was very shocked at how well this uh this thing could pull 4,500 pounds on the highway. So um, we'll go over it, start front to back, kind of go over everything and yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, we'll start right here in the front with the uh, first thing is this coastal off-road uh, front bumper. I'll try to go through this video kind of quick. I, I know I don't like watching 30 minute videos either. Um, so I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. Coastal off-road front bumper, those guys are out of uh, Canada, I believe. Um, it was their weld together kit, so I had it welded together. Um, it was their full system, so it's got the hoops over the headlights that you can see there, um, as well as got the amber uh, daytime running lights that are also wired into the blinker of the truck, so they work as blinkers and daytime running lights, DRLs. Um, flood lights there, those are just white light uh, flood pattern. Those are wired into the fog lights of the truck. Um, so basically, whenever the fog lights are on, um, those come on. So really good system there next thing would be the arb uh skid plates underneath let's see if i can get a shot of that um they go all the way back so it's the full skid plate system if you know anything about arb they're very very high quality um very uh well known kind of in the overland off-roading community um next thing would be the uh you know the typical grill that everyone everyone swaps out the uh um i guess they call it the trd pro style grill with the uh, raptor lights got the amber raptor lights those are just wired into the drl fuse as well um so they're always on when the truck's on or they go off when the truck is off basically um try to make it really really easy um next thing would be the let's go wheels and tires so um right here you can see i went with the Black Rhino um, alloy wheels. I don't remember the model of these. I'll have to find it and I'll put it in right here on the screen. 
um, over here on the left. Um, but really, really good wheels, very solid. They're kind of modeled after kind of a military Humvee style wheel. Um, I saw them on a fifth gen forerunner at a, um, like an overland meetup type thing before. And I was like, I want those wheels. They were hard to get because I bought every, pretty much everything I bought for this truck, I bought at one time, um, pretty much right after I bought the truck. And that was middle of COVID. So it was, you know, supply chain issues and all that. Um, so it was very hard to get. I was able to get them. Um, I think I got them from full wheel parts with the, with the tires as well. These are the BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, they're the 295 70 R17 um, load range E tires very very good um tires all-terrain style i love the tread pattern on these they're quiet on the road they work well off-road um can't really have no complaints about those at all very very good tires i had um 35 inch tire uh, bf goodrich ko2s on here before um when i first got it but i uh ended up sorry somebody's flying by um I ended up just didn't really like them. Um, not, I, there wasn't really much clearance issues um, because of the suspension system I have on here, but they just looked too bulky for the truck. Um, kind of made it look awkward, look more Baja style, I guess. Um, and that's not the look I was going for with this. Um, I have a Tundra that I, I like the, I did the Baja style look on that and I really, really liked it. I didn't want to go with that um, on this. So uh, next up would be suspension. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that in here. So uh, Toy Tech um, system uh, suspension here. I think it's about a two or two and a half inch. I'm not positive. This was, like I said, this was on here when I got the truck, um, which was one of the main reasons that I got the truck. But it's got the, you know, the Zerk fittings on the upper control arm so you can, uh, you know, put grease in there. Every once in a while, I think they say to do it every other um, oil change or every like 15 or 20,000 miles. I don't, um, and I've had no issues with them. They're very, very, I mean, smooth. Everyone who has either driven or rode in this truck always compliments how smooth it is. Let's see if I can get you a good shot there. Um, stock lower uh, control arms. It's an adjustable uh, toy tech. You see the dial there. Um, no CV axles, uh, no CV axle issues with this. I know some people have issues with CV axles. This hasn't been wheeled hard off road. I just haven't. Um, it's not really, I don't really do a ton of hard off roading, mostly just kind of like forced roads like this, you know, still gravel, no, no huge ruts or anything like that. Um, so very, very smooth. It's running, I'm running uh, Bilstein uh, shocks in the back. Um, with Dobinson um, springs. Let's see if I can get a shot of those. I don't know if I can. Um, Dobinson springs underneath to help with some of the payload, um, especially with this uh, rear bumper I've got, full, full steel rear bumper, added some weight to it. Um, so I uh, got those put on there. Sherpa equipment roof rack. This is their uh, Princeton system with a light bar um, amber on the sides, white in the middle, super, super bright. I've got that wired into the uh, truck as well. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, let's see what else. Awning, uh, Maxi Tracks awning. Um, very, very good system. Hasn't been used a ton, so it's almost like a brand new awning pretty much. Um, I think I've used it you know, maybe five or six times, honestly. Um, Exhaust is a Magnaflow Overland Series exhaust. Um, I'm going to probably have the tip cut off. That way it's not coming out underneath the bumper. That's probably the next thing I'm going to do. But Overland Series Magnaflow exhaust sounds really, really good. Um, almost a little too loud for my liking, but that's just, you know, preference. Um, like I said, you can see the frame is really, really nice here. No rust at all in the frame. Um, Really, really well built or uh, well maintained. Sorry, well maintained um, truck. That was kind of the main selling point for me was how well maintained it is. We'll swing over here to the back. Um, spare tire swing out. You know, dual uh, swing out here. So it's got jer two jerry can holder here. Spare tire swing out there. Um, it works really, really smooth. So you just grab this handle, spin it out. Sorry, everything's dusty. I washed the truck. 
before I came out here to film this video, I came out here to film the video and everything got nasty and dusty now. So we'll uh, end up watching it again. So dual jerry can swing out. Um, it's got the hitch. This is a, a coastal off-road, by the way, um, as well. Really, really nice welds on here. If you can see that. Um, two toe points here, uh, here, and here. Not toe points, sorry. Uh, snatch points, I guess, basically. If you're stuck, hook a D-ring to that, you know, and somebody can snatch you out. Um, it's got a hitch receiver um, put in there. Um, that's... Uh, bolted on as well um, from Coastal Off Road. This is their full system for the rear as well. Like I said, swing out here. Really, really nice welds. If you can kind of see some of that there. Um, guys at uh, Willingham Automotive did a really good job on on these welds. Um, and then let's see where we'll go from here. Like I said, uh, Sherpa Equipment Company. Um, I think those guys are out of Colorado. Uh, that's their roof rack system here. Really, really like that system. It's got the rails. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, rails. Um, so you can mount things to it. Right now, I've got a Pelican um, case mounted to it with just some recovery gear and things like that. You know, miscellaneous things. Um, it's also, I've mounted traction boards up there. You can mount a tent. You can mount pretty much anything your heart desires. You can mount up there. Like I said, Bilstein shocks in the rear. There's a good shot of that. Um, really, really nice frame. You can see how clean that frame is. Um, really, really well maintained all the way throughout. Um, running boards were taken off. I'll probably buy some coastal off road um, running uh, rock sliders. Um, not that it needs it, it's just, you know, a looks kind of thing. So let's, uh, let's look inside real quick. Very, very well maintained inside as well. WeatherTech floor mats throughout, um, even in the rear, WeatherTech back there as well. Um, back window can roll down or up automatically. Um, let's see, LED lighting all the way throughout. So all of the lighting in here has been switched out to LED, even those up there. All the door lighting um, right here, all that's been switched out to LED. Very, very well maintained, like I said. I'm kind of meticulous about my vehicles. I keep them very, very, very clean. Um, I don't like for them to be dirty at all. Um, here's a view of the front. Like I said, very clean. WeatherTech right there. So WeatherTech all the way throughout. Passenger, driver, uh, back seats have WeatherTech and the back, um, the uh, back uh, loading cargo, I guess, area back there has WeatherTech as well. Um, let's see, I'll get you a shot of that real quick kind of soft clothes it's an electric uh, soft clothes hatch in the back here um very spacious in the back as well which i really really liked um kept the stock uh i forget what they call these but kind of kept that stock as well to go along um kind of tied into the bumper really well um stock headlights uh i don't know if i showed but the front headlights have been um swapped over i paid for the uh uh, I forget the name or the brand, but they're they're basically the projector style headlights, the upgrade with the LED bulbs. I want to say I paid close to 700 bucks for those. Um, really, really nice. Very, very bright, especially with the brights on. Almost like too bright to even <laughs> even have on just for you know just for yourself. Um, but very, very like I said, very, very bright um, lights. Seats go up and down in this. These are the bottom. They fold out. Um, WeatherTech floor mats down there. It's got this other Fortech, uh, uh, not WeatherTech. It's just there. I think for, uh, Toyota stock um, floor mat. Um, that can go over, so it'll fold and cover this area of the seats. It's like if we're carrying dogs or something, we'll put that down. Let the dogs walk. Um, all along the back, they got all this space here to kind of walk while we're driving and stuff, and lay down and hang out. Um, like I said, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, don't quote me on that, but very, very, um, clean, clean truck all the way throughout. Obviously not right now because I drove down dirt roads, but, um, frame is very, very solid, very clean. Underneath is very clean. Like I said, it's protected underneath. Um, it's got a couple of, you know, paint marks and things like that, but that's just kind of expected with a, 
what's this a 20 almost a 20 year old vehicle now it's 19 years old at this point um but very very um happy with how this has turned out put a lot of money and time into this uh, a lot more than i thought it would but that's just kind of how things go with with stuff like this um hope you guys enjoy this um like i said just want to do a quick walk through and kind of show you guys um what i've done to it and mostly just for memories in case i ever sell this thing and want to look back on what i built so hope you guys have a great day um i appreciate your time watching this video hopefully it was entertaining enough i'm not any kind of <laughs> youtuber or anything like that but hopefully it was um entertaining enough and hopefully you like the build